What's up though? Back with another vlog, baby! So this video is gonna be a Q&A that I said I was gonna put out. You guys already DM'd me with questions on IG. You guys already swiped up on my Snapchat with questions. You guys already DM'd me on Twitter with questions. So, grab your bay, grab your popcorn, grab whatever snacks you need, grab your drinks, grab anything you need, sit down, get you know a little comfortable with your food thing, on the couch, on your bed, wherever you're watching this video, get comfortable, and let's get to this video. Okay, so let's start off. Question number one, okay? Uh, we'll, we'll hit Snapchat first. What motivates you to work hard and as hard as you do? Um, <laughs> honestly, myself. As cocky as that sounds, I motivate myself. I know what I'm capable of doing. I know how far I can push this whole life shit. I know how far and capable what I'm able to do with everything that I want to do. All my dreams, goals, and aspirations. I know where I can be. And I look at myself building and building and building to be this better, amazing fucking guy, and better, successful guy. And I motivate myself to eat and be hungry and hustle every single day, so. And I want the same thing for you guys, okay? You should be your own motivation. You can have inspirations, you know, someone who inspires you, but no one should motivate you but you. Because you should know where you want to be in the next five to 10 years. Okay, next question. What makes you laugh the most? Honestly, everything makes me laugh. I'm a really happy guy. As you guys can see, I'm always smiling. I'm never really mad. Um, I love this life shit, so. At the end of the day, it just really depends, like, you know, what makes me laugh the most? I don't know, comedy movies, I guess. I don't know, people, jokes, you know, stupid shit that I do, stupid shit that, you know, my day ones do, stuff like that. If you had to choose one, what would be your proudest accomplishment? Honestly, that's a good question. But I have a lot, but if I had to choose one, it would be making the decisions to cut everything out of my life and focus on me and building me as a man, as a human, as a, you know, entrepreneur, as everything, you know, being where I want to be, you know? not putting out this fake image for everybody to see because at the end of the day, it does not matter. You know, I'm proud of building the person I am today. You know, this shit didn't just, I didn't wake up and I was this person. Like I built this, I built this, you know? I built myself inside and out. <laughs> if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? If I could live anywhere, I traveled a lot. I still do travel a lot. Um, but if I could live anywhere right now, I'm looking at Houston, Texas. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a city boy. You guys know that, you know, came from LA, you know, shout out to my boys on the West side, but boys and girls on the West side. But at the same time, I just recently came back in Texas, not that long ago. And that place was freaking gorgeous. I'm a city boy, I had a really big city, downtown Houston. And I don't know, I, w I would love, I would, if I were to build something or build anything, like, I don't know like how I'm gonna say this, I'm trying to say this. If I were to, I don't know, if I were to leave where I'm at right now, like Florida, I would a thousand percent go ahead and buy a house or a condo in um, Houston all day long. So I guess if that answers your question. If you could do anything for a whole day, what would it be? Now. You see my, my necklace? Right? It's a dumbbell. I love to work out. I love to build race cars. It's my tattoos, you know? But if I had to choose one thing, I would love to work out all day. I, I'd rather work out all day. You know, there's nothing better than bettering yourself, your health, and your wellness, so you can be on top. But other people are sleeping, partying, drinking, having fun, doing stupid shit, doing drugs, all this other stuff. You're bettering yourself in the gym. And that's how it should be. Because you're gonna be on top. 
Have you ever sang karaoke? Yeah, I have. I'm not gonna lie, Mondays with the homies. You know, sometimes we'll go out, I don't do it often, but I'll go out to the bar with them. And you know, it's Monday night karaoke, ladies, all you can drink. You know, and you know, me and, me and my boys. Like, I remember last time I went was like on my birthday. My birthday is close to my friend's birthday and then our other friend's birthday, you know, Sean and Anthony. There are three, all three of our birthdays are really close. So we all got together, sang happy birthday to each other in front of everybody. And then a chick came in with a sash on that said, happy birthday, a princess. And we sang it right back to her. And it was just a great time. So if that answers your question, yes, I've sang karaoke before. If you could eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Steak. All day long. No question about it. I, I will, hey, give me a 22 ounce steak all day long, you know, either ribeye, New York strip, or, you know, uh, whatever, whatever type of steak, as long as it's medium rare, I can smash that all day long. How would your friends describe you? My friends would probably describe me as tall as fuck, <laughs> fine as fuck, <laughs> smart as fuck, motivated as fuck, you know. Funny as fuck. I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure all of the above. So, yeah. <laughs> if you won the lottery, what would you do? If I won the lottery. If I won the lottery. How much are we talking? All right, let's just say this. 150 million. That's a lottery. All right, we'll say it. we'll say I won 150 million. You know. Minus the 20% that the government takes, you know, whatever. Um, I would, like I said, I'll, I'll probably move to Texas. I'll move to Texas, get a nice big mansion over there, take care of my mom, get my mom a house, get my sister a house, you know, and take care of everybody, you know. Uh, I would make my brands even bigger, you know. I'd make everything blow up. Even though I, I just answered your question, but I'm gonna answer it with another like kind of statement. So yes, I would move to Texas, I'd buy a mansion, I'd buy nice cars, I'd buy nice things, and better myself and flip my money. But at the same time, I'm not the type of person to flex. I'm really, I'm really, really not. Because at the end of the day, using your money to make money is the biggest flex. And that's how I see everything in life. Like, that's just how I, I see things. Like, you know, I, I could go buy a Lambo, I could go buy the designer shirts, nice big ass Cuban link, you know, you know, $40,000 watch. I could go buy all the things, but at the end of the day, that's all irrelevant. These are things that don't matter. Only thing in life that really matters, and I'm gonna tell you guys, this and listen to this but outside of this Q&A video like take this in if you take anything from this video only thing in life that really matters is moment and time those are the only two things you can't buy remember that list two pet peeves okay pet peeve is something that pisses you off Ooh, you know you know when you're eating like on a plate like, and you get like a knife, I was gonna grab one, a knife or a fork and you like scrape the plate, ah, and it makes that sound, oh my god, it pisses me off. Jesus, just thinking about it, ow, okay. And another one, you guys already know I don't like peanut butter, so I guess it would have to be peanut butter. <laughs> How often do you buy clothes? Because it seems that you wear a lot of black. Yeah, I do wear a lot of black clothing. I'm not gonna lie. This is my first white shirt I've ever owned. No, well, I'm not gonna say ever owned. Probably my second one I've ever owned. The first one I've ever wore. You know, because I don't really wear white like that. But I was like, I, I, I try this on. I was like, okay, this looks nice. I don't really go shopping often because I have a lot of clothes. And I mostly work out clothes, gym shorts and stuff like that. But now I've been wearing a lot of jeans, cargo shorts, shirts actual polo shirts nice nice things nothing that looks like i'm going to the gym all the time 
you know, when I am not going to the gym. If I'm going out to, let's say the movies or going out to dinner, I don't want to be in basketball shorts and a tie-dye shirt, like a dry fit shirt like this or something. What's your favorite movie? Talladega Nights, Shake and Bake, baby. It's with Will Ferrell. Search it up. You guys will love that movie. What song would you say sums you up the best? That's a good question. I don't really know. I listen to a lot of music. Uh, honestly, when I do listen to music, it's mostly like I'm listening to the instrumental and the track behind it, not really the words. But if I were, were to um, sum up a song, Uh, that was a poor answer, but I couldn't really tell you. So. What celebrity would you want to meet? J Lo, all day long. I don't care how old you are, girl, you is beautiful. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Rich? No, not even rich. Wealthy, successful, happy, stress free, beautiful girl house, nice cars, nice family, living. Oh, what is one thing you'll never do again? I was 18, my first sip of alcohol. I had, I didn't know what a four loco was. I had three of those and two Coronas. I was literally obliterated, felt so sick. Just, just wanted to die, like, no, I will, I'll never drink a Four Loco ever again. Ever. I will stay away from that thing. I see it in the gas station all the time. I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with it. Who knows you best? Uh, Carson, my boy, CG23. We're like the same person, but I'm big and black. He's small, white, blue eyes. How many languages do you speak? Three. Poquito Espanol. You know, I speak Creole and English. Actually, I say four, because it's bullshit too. I'll message you. I guess so, um, end the video there. I hope you guys enjoy the Q&A. All right, I'm gonna finish these amazing, these taste good, popcorners. I usually get the kettle corn, which is, this is what it is, so. Ah. I'm gonna finish this bag. I'm gonna head to the gym, get an amazing workout. I'm not gonna finish that bag, I'm probably gonna get a couple. An amazing workout. I hope you guys have an amazing, blessed day. Stay out of trouble. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And if you hit the subscribe button, if you're new, hit that post notification button and comment down below. I subscribe because I am sending out freeze t shirts from Money and Muscle. You know, that's the, that's the company uh, that I'm working on. For you guys okay we got hats we got shirts working on hoodies now so i'm sending out a free shirt to one lucky subscriber if you just comment i subscribe so go ahead and do that i'll see you guys in the next video